Hey guys, welcome back to the Simply Fab Fam channel. Or should I say, welcome back to another uh, Chisme de Bramsi. Ahora es como una serie. So we're pretty much doing a series. So make sure to grab your cafecito, vino, lo que quieres. Y vamos ya a empezar because I have algo muy interesante. I have something that is probably juicier than a mango. So cheers, everybody. This feud and this series would have never started if she didn't block me from her channel for no good reason, then stole my haircut. That was the start of it. And now we're just gonna just get into it. And I did, you know, I did some digging because as we know, uh, Bram T doesn't really speak on her uh, family. Hold on one second. Let's 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 drink. Mm. Relájate. We are only gonna be truthful, truthful and honest. The reason why I think this video is probably important for many people uh, because when Bram T has come onto other people's podcasts. Uh, to talk about like her story, her upbringing, and stuff like that. It's always just been surface. It's always been almost like hiding something. And I say that obviously because Lewis has come forward, him and his brother, and exposed their upbringing and exposed a lot of the things that they've been through, their traumas, and a lot of personal things. And we don't really see that with Brown So a lot of people have, you know, said that. Like, um, it's your turn. When is it your turn? And so because it's never been her turn to say anything about her family, just leave it up to me and I will do that for you. Obviously her mom, Mimi, you guys know the channel is Cafe con Mimi. Ay, Mimi. I hope you have your coffee, Mimi. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, cafecito muy bueno. Her mom made a few videos, actually several videos, with the kids because you know her daughter uses the kids for views and so she thought she could do the same thing so she went right ahead while she was babysitting and i find it so funny when bramty is like oh i wouldn't drop off my kids to go twerking i think you did the neighbors over the uncles over the grandpas don't over, know that. like these predators like no. i mean you literally hear that in your own family there's predators so uh -huh. like what do you think is gonna happen in a random uh -uh, person i'm house? sorry but if you do that if you are the ones that are leaving your kids off with damn it's not attack a lot of Facebook, people now i talking about that i don't care because you guys need to open up your eyes because i'm here protecting your kids your it's time you start stop pointing fingers at other people and realize there are three fingers pointing at you it really does look like she went twerking and the mom seems to me like they're, uh, she was out of it. She basically let the camera roll, didn't do any editing, didn't check. In this video that I'm going to show you guys, you see the children, they're wearing dresses and you just see, you know, their underwear, you see um, the dresses come up. Um, like I said, there was no editing, nothing like was reviewed uh, properly to see if this was appropriate. It clearly wasn't. There was so many issues with this video that we need to uh, look into this. And I would actually probably appreciate you guys if you can help me report the video because it's that inappropriate and it should be taken down. Another thing I should point out is that there is a recent video where Lewis is like, why does Penelope always talk about boyfriends? Um, nothing else. She just jokes about boyfriends. I'm 18. Oh! I'm 21. I can't have a boyfriend. <laughs> why, does she, why does she always go to boyfriends? What is the first thing that comes to your head? I can show you exactly why that is, actually. There is a video here on the channel, Cafe con Mimi. Kids react to my outfits. Bad idea. And there's also another video that is titled, I told Penelope I have a new boyfriend. And those comments on that video has been blocked. I wonder why, right? It's um, content that seemed to me very inappropriate to do with children. So maybe that's why she blocked the comments. Maybe she knew what she was doing, right? Um, but yeah, the first one we'll take a look at is the kids reacting to the outfit 
in the beginning, Ping talks about how this is for her boyfriend. She's gonna go date. She hasn't had a boyfriend in a long time. I'm like, what the heck? What? Exactly. The kids are like, what? What? I don't have a boyfriend for me. It's long, long time. Okay. But Ali, can you talk? Can you listen to me, please? The lady, Penelope, un ratito, wait. Lazy. By the way, guys. I don't have a boyfriend for um, a Another funny thing that I should say is um, they're not sending the kids to school uh, or Penelope so she doesn't get indoctrinated. Maybe they didn't notice that the child was indoctrinated at this point right here. <laughs> the reason why Lewis is like questioning, why does she do this? Oh, because she was indoctrinated. If you look up the meaning of indoctrination, it simply means teaching. So this woman had access to these kids and was teaching them about boyfriends. And actually I find interesting too that in the beginning of this video, they point out that the ages are five and six. I know that you guys are five and you six, right? But you're gonna be six when I turn when I turn six, she's gonna be seven. Is it appropriate to teach about boyfriends at five and six? Whoa, no, not 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 on my watch. Uh, I'm a parent myself, and no, I would not like that at all. Actually, need your help, Lacey and Penelope, because I see the way how you are very uh, smart and very. Uh, mature at your age. I want that you guys help me. She wants the kids help because she they're mature. You're calling five-year-olds mature? Wow. <laughs> She's and then out of her head. I want your opinion because my day is tonight. Tonight. Girl, you're supposed to be babysitting these kids. But at least She's supposed to be babysitting these kids and she's saying that the date is tonight. But Brantee's out twerking tonight. This is not your night to date. Unbelievable. What I'm gonna do is, I want you and Lacey um, tell me about my- So I also think it's inappropriate that her, the friend in the red dress is not part of these channels and she's announcing her name. So I'm not really sure if her parents are approving of this. Uh, that she's giving out of uh, this personal information because that's what it is. You're giving out a child's real name. Yeah. Really? <laughs> but um, I want that you guys, um, are you going to give me a, a real and honest opinion about my outfits? That's my concern. Lacey, what do you think? When I come out with my nice outfit, you're going to say, yes, it's good. Or if, it's, if you don't like it, you have to be honest. And you say, no, I don't like it. Okay? I just want honest. Do Penelope, what about you? Maybe in her mind the video is innocent. She just wants their opinion on the outfits. She wants their honest opinion. And you know, obviously you wouldn't think anything of it. This is totally fine. The only issue I have with this video is, well, one, she's teaching them about boyfriends. That's highly inappropriate. Another thing I have an issue with is the video wasn't edited at all. There's no uh, cutting. I wish the kids underwear showing would have been cut out uh, but no these kids were just playing in the video their legs were up at times um, you can see the friend in the red dress you can see her, her underwear um, you can also see them uh, slapping the butt and everything um, the video is kind of long 20 minutes Old enough. Let me see that again. What? So Penelope is uh, heard saying that I want you to have a date with him because you're old enough. So it's very clear that she's already aware that she can't go on dates because she's not old enough. So why are we talking about this? So why are we uh, uh, sticking this in a child's head? Weird, but whatever. I feel like I'm sexy like this. Look. No, you don't look sexy. And I'm gonna be like, like this. Look, We're being honest. Do you know what this finger up? Let's figure out and this finger up. Okay, okay. So and then. It's um, because you look sexy. Come on. <laughs> how it looks? Sexy. Okay, so. How is that? Sexy. How is that? That 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 thumbs up or down for 
of this hour. Yeah. <laughs> but Fred, but look at me. I don't see you. Yeah, Orko, we can see your butt. My butt? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wear my second outfit. And Your butt's not beautiful. <laughs> yeah, so there goes one at 532 where you can see the little girl in the red dress. You can see her underwear, which is just very unfortunate. I'm pretty sure her parents didn't even see these videos. They probably don't even know that Mimi has a channel. <sighs> Oh man, this stuff is great. Uh, this is another very inappropriate part in the video. Uh, Mimi leaves to go change her outfit and the kids start eating candy, uh, looks like gummy worms, uh, and they go to the camera, they go up to the camera and they open their mouth, um, which made me feel very uncomfortable because it's very unfortunate that Probably random men have seen this and um, yeah, so Penelope comes closer and shows her tongue and everything and Apparently, I mean it does seem like it was edited because it was cut there. So That is sad. That is truly sad that if Mimi did edit the video Que hizo esa pendejada like for real like is very sad that if she did see that children are doing this and they're you know eating and opening up their mouths close up to the camera like that that's sad it does seem like she went on for hours i mean you know i don't know how long this was filmed but by the end of the video the kids are like like they're ready for bed they're so tired i mean You know, and Mimi doesn't really look much different than drag queens that read to kids at schools that we thought was highly inappropriate. Uh, she looks no different. Here she's putting on a wig and she's all got these sparkles and these boots. She literally looks like uh, one of those um, drag queens that are reading to kids. Uh, so uncomfortable. So uncomfortable to watch. <laughs> Open eyes. <laughs> yeah, right there, um, 7.56, that's another timestamp where uh, Penelope is covered with a blanket, then she gets out of the blanket, she's in a little dress, and unfortunately, you know, you do see, like, you know, her bottoms, and that should have been cut out of the video because it's highly inappropriate for a film to get out like that of a child. Right here uh, at eight, timestamp eight is when the kids start to slap her butt and Penelope is slapping her butt, which encourages the friend to slap her butt. This is probably the part where someone says it's uncomfortable to watch. It really is. I mean, she encouraged these girls to do this kind of behavior on camera. And then she uploaded to YouTube and got, uh, let's see, oh, 16,000 views. Yeah, so they just keep slapping her butt. It's so inappropriate. At 9.21, they start to pull down her dress. Maybe they think it's too short. Who knows? <laughs> Open eyes. her butt and it just keeps going on and on and on. Mira, so I can say hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. And then I take it on my, my beautiful coat like this. And I say like this, woo, my friend. My, my. Uh, so tell me you guys, this is literally not, like I said, a drag show thing. She's like, I'm gonna get to my date like this with this jacket and then I'm gonna take it off like this. Like, wait, what? Look at this. Look, and 
I say like this, woo! Guys, she's literally stripping her jacket. And she's like, I'm gonna go to my date and then I'm, I'm gonna, gonna take out your shirt, your pants, and your. These are five and six year olds. What are you doing? It's disgusting. Like, it's disgusting. why do you have a wig on and these clothes? Why are you stripping? Why are you stripping? Why do you think this is normal? Like, and, and then why do you think it's normal? This is what I'm talking about, you guys. Just stop. So here she comes, it's 11 minutes into the video. She's coming with another outfit. Like this is the point where you can tell this has gone for a long time. Like she basically, instead of babysitting, she was exploiting them for views. <laughs> While Bramty was drinking and twerking, her mom was exploiting Penelope for views. And not just Penelope, Penelope and the friend. So whoever was out that night with Bramty, <laughs> Unbelievable. At 11.14, the girl in the red dress again attempts to slap her butt and this was just like kind of like a repeated behavior, um, which, you know, like I said, it's just very inappropriate because if it's okay to act like this with the friend's grandmother or your grandmother, then it kind of makes the kids believe it's okay to act like that around other people and friends and uncles and and it's really, it's really not. This is very bad behavior for kids to learn. Yeah, and like they're saying ugly booty. So it's almost like they're aware that this has to do with dating and some sort of like, you know, actual context. They're aware because they're saying booty. the video ends with her tapping them on the butt which you know it's probably not with bad intentions but it's just after so much butt tapping in the video it's like okay enough is enough and we have another video which is i told penelope i have a new boyfriend this video is kind of worse so the intro is her explaining that she's gonna be talking about dating how she's dating like right here's a second video of her emphasizing to Penelope at age five that she's dating when she's really not. Like she's not dating, I don't think, uh, because she was so desperate about, you know, this storyline. So I'm just gonna assume there was no man, but her story just, you know, she just had to push that onto Penelope, which that's what it seems to me. So the video starts at three minutes and 13 seconds. Um, and she just sits there and just, you know, um, just, she just keeps going and going and just having this conversation. Why don't you always go to boyfriends? What is the first thing that comes to your head? I gotta talk to you about something very serious. But I, I want that you listen to me and pay attention, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, you know that um, I've been single forever, for a long, long, long time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not gonna show you guys the whole thing. Um, I'll probably pull some clips to show you, but whatever. It's literally, it's literally ridiculous. It's her sitting down on the bed, just going on and on and on about how she's dating and she's been alone and there's gonna be a new man in her life. And, and then it's like uncomfortable. There's parts where she's like, oh, you want me all to yourself? Look at me. I'm thinking, look at me. I didn't tell nobody about this. But um, I I start dating. Why are you going to date? I want to date a man. A man? Young? He's kind of young. Is he an old man? No, he's not old. He's young. Um, there's parts where Penelope like is touching herself with the covers, obviously. But still, I mean, it's just an uh, invasion of privacy of a child. You're dating a man. Yes. And, and what's the man's name? 
I cannot tell you the name now. Wow. But um, he's a young man. And like, what does he look like? He's, he's tall, um, blue eyes, tan skin, athletic. He have, um, as he's a hard working. What do you think? Because you sleep with me in my bed. Because I'm nervous. Why, mi amor? I'm nervous for you to date a man. Imagine you kiss him in the lips. <laughs> you would stop doing that because you're going to kiss him in the lips for no reason. And um, I don't have friends to talk about it. This is my big secret. And the only one who knows about my secret is you. That's why I want your opinion. Do you mind if I date? Because in the future I'm going to get married. And in the future he's going to sleep with me here in the bed. And guess what? Okay. You know, your spin has spit turned into a trade. So his, if he gives you your spit, you give him your spit. It's like a trade. <laughs> I'm never gonna have a boyfriend. What I have to tell the, my dating, what I have to tell him now. What is your conclusion about my situation with this dating? Penelope, I know why you don't want me to date. Why? Because you want me only for yourself. No. I know you. Cause, Cause I don't want to get sick. I gotta tell you something. What? Was a little I, I was suffering inside when I was talking to Penelope this way. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm angry. Why are you angry? Why? I'm angry. Why? I'm angry. angry. No, mi amor. I'm angry. No, mi amor. No, no. I'm angry. No, mi amor. I'm no. My wonderful spirits. I'm angry. Ay, mi amor, mi amor. I'm angry. No, no, no. Don't be angry. I'm angry. I love you very much. Lacks so much privacy for this child, and that's the whole point of this video. Is like you guys need to realize how much these kids were exploited for views. And I'm actually glad that they've been pulled away from the YouTube, not the TikTok though. The TikTok they're heavily exploited there, uh, but YouTube they've been pulled back a little bit because she got a lot of criticism for exploiting her kids for views. That's what this is. That's what the matter uh, we're talking about. Um, so it's sad that not just mom exploited Penelope for views, but grandma did too. Um, yeah, and then like I said, uh, Branty never speaks on her upbringing, nothing, nothing negative, just, just everything was just fluff. Everything, oh no, 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 I just had a single mom, that's it. Um, but yeah, I will insert a clip of how um, it's totally normal in her family to push her. Oh, Ren. Ren got it. Ren got it. So that's all I have for you guys. That's what I was able to uncover. Um, like I said, after all that hiding and sweeping things under the rug, I was able to uncover that for you guys. And yeah, I hope you appreciate it. I hope you appreciate my honesty and my uh, viewpoint on child exploitation on YouTube.